Hi guys, welcome back for CA Inter. We are doing MCQs of the chapter Job Costing of CA Inter. These MCQs are aimed at you trying to get complete marks in the MCQs. First, we are doing every MCQ which is there in the module and then our own MCQs. There is a playlist on YouTube for each and every chapter that we all are doing. Ensure that you go through all the questions of that chapter. In module, the questions are there, answers are there, logic is not there. Okay, that's what I'm trying to explain through these ones. Once your costing is over, we are also doing of FM. So every type of MCQ of costing FM will be completely done. Okay, so let's do this. Which of the following statements is true? Okay, four options please bring. A. Job cost sheet may be prepared for facilitating routing and scheduling of the job. This is nonsense. This is false. Job cost sheet is prepared to find out cost of a certain job, not how that job will be done. So no routing and scheduling of the job. Okay. That is the planning how that job will be done. All those things. Have you ever written in like, you know, you all have done the questions of making the cost sheet for a certain job, correct? Have you ever written over there, this job will be done at this particular time, it will be done by these workers, okay, it will be done in the evening, it will be done in the morning. No, no. So, therefore, that cannot be the answer. Okay, B. Job costing can be suitably used for concerns producing uniformly any specific product. Now, this is completely false. In fact, job costing is there for companies which try to manufacture every different unit. These are job costing companies. Job costing companies are those companies for them. Each and every job is unique. Each and every job is unique. That is whatever is job costing. Okay. So therefore that thing cannot be the answer. In fact, if you're a company which is manufacturing all standardized products, suppose there is a company which manufactures only calculators like this. For them, job costing is not relevant at all. Job costing is only relevant for companies for whom each and every unit is different. As I've told in past also, it could be say an interior designer for, he, for whom each and every project is different. It could be a carpenter for whom all the furnitures that he makes are unique. Okay. So therefore, those are the applications of job costing. So A cannot be the answer. B cannot be the answer. Okay. C. Bring it out, please. Job costing cannot be used in companies using standard costing. In fact, it can be used. Standard costing is what? It gives you the targets that you should be incurring this much. Okay. You can have standards in reference to a certain job also. So job costing can always be used with standard costing. Like, you know, absorption costing and marginal costing are two different branches, which are mutually exclusive. Only one of those two can be applied. But standard costing is basically a technique whereby we come to know, are you overspending or are you under spending are you saving cost are you incurring cost extra so therefore it can be used also okay there is nothing wrong or no rule that it cannot be used and d is none of the above that is neither a nor b nor c so a is not true for sure b is not true for sure c is also not true for sure so answer i guess should be d here that's the correct answer